hold your breath, uh, something is telling you to take a breath. So how does that work? Well, you have the oxygen and carbon dioxide sensors in your main arteries that are going up to your brain and sending information to the respiratory center that's in your brain. And it analyzes that information and then sends uh, messages down to your muscles of respiration to breathe. So the whole control, control system requires immediately a sensor, a, a, a control logic or an integrator, and then an effector to do something about what's going on. And you just can't see how that could come into being um, by, by random chance. So on top of that, the um, respiratory center has to sort of know how much oxygen you need at a given moment. So when you're sitting there, you know, sleeping at night, you need 250 milliliters per minute of oxygen. So it, it's telling you breathe at, at the proper rate. Most people will breathe 12 times a minute, and they technically get 350 milliliters of of oxygen into their blood, and, and that works out to how much oxygen you need. Or when you get active, you know, the heart starts to beat faster in response to that. You start breathing faster. You know, those are all uh, set points, things in the, in the body that it knows what it should do at that time. So those are examples of you know, how the body seems to know what to do to keep you alive.